What's up guys this is Skytech Freak and today for you I have the video review of Lineage OS 14.1 on uh, the Moto G first generation so that's actually quite special because uh, probably the last official Android version for this phone was Android 5 point something and now thanks to Lineage and official Lineage at that you actually have Android 7.1.2 running on this device so let me show you that we are in fact running Android 7.1.2 Here's a little nougat easter egg. Um, let me also show you that we are running Lineage after all. There we go. That's Lineage easter egg. Um, you can go to Lineage OS updates and at the time of shooting this video, 15th August 2018 was the latest uh, nightly of uh, Lineage OS 14.1 for this device. Um, you will get these uh, updates as OTA updates since it's the official channel and then you can just download and press install and it reboots into recovery and installs it for you so that's extremely convenient. It's amazing that a device this old can still have official support from uh, a big ROM name like a uh, big custom ROM name like Lineage. Um, as far as the ROM's functionality goes, nothing is broken. Basically, it's a stable version. It's a stable ROM, so everything works. Wi-Fi works, Bluetooth works, uh, location works. All your SIM functions work, like calling, texting, etc. Uh, the camera works, and the camera actually works quite well. Uh, as far as the ROM is concerned, it's pretty close to stock Android because that's what Lineage tends to be. But of course, the few additions the Lineage does do to the operating system are great additions. So let's go down and take a look. Uh, take a look at those additions. Uh, one of them is gestures. So what you can do is you can double tap this status bar, uh, and that's the ambient display, which is another addition that um, Lineage OS has done to the ROM. So when you double tap the status bar, it goes to uh, the phone goes to sleep. Um, Another one is when you double tap the power button from anywhere, it opens the camera and here in the camera you can see uh, Mr. Stormtrooper. The camera does a good job, it's a very good camera application, I mean it performs only as well as the Moto G first gen camera can perform but um, it's an impressive layout and it tends to take good photos in the right, uh, the right kind of light. Uh, other additions to this are, like I spoke, uh, like I already mentioned, the ambient display. So when we go to display, if I can just find that, uh, and go down to ambient display, there's a bunch of settings. You can wave your hand, and this is something that you could do on Motorola devices based on their stock ROMs as well. So let me just go ahead and see if I can give you a preview of how ambient display looks through that. So this is ambient display. It probably mistook. Um, me putting it down as uh, taking it out of the pocket but if you just wave your hand there we go it shows you um, it shows you that ambient display as well and then if you tap the display of course it'll open up the display properly um, apart from that uh, other other uh, changes to the ROM are you can invert colors over here and uh, there's a live display which basically changes the white light of your smartphone to a warmer tones at night that'll uh, help you sleep and save your eyes from a little bit of damage if uh, I'm right I believe that's somewhat the effect that live display has uh, most phones have it nowadays it's just a safety health thing um, apart from that you can of course uh, customize the system icon tray and things like that uh, I have it to this configuration there's a bunch of other icons you can have up there like I said, completely stable ROM, everything works, so if you do just have a Moto G and want to pop your SIM into it and uh, use a much more new version of Android than what your Moto G would have if it stuck to Motorola's official manufacturer updates, then I think this is a good way to do it. Uh, I have also rooted this ROM, so I do it through Magis because I think um, systemless rooting is far more elegant than super user which messes up the boot image and things like that so uh, that's how I've chosen to root that uh, if you guys want I'll put all the links in the description below and uh, that was just a quick overview of the ROM I can also just now show you how to install that ROM and I'll have all the links for the files I'm going to mention uh, in the description below so you just want to restart your phone and you want to when the phone is off you want to hold the power and the volume down button so you come into the fast boot menu 
and then from there you want to go to recovery and on the Moto G to select that uh, just to highlight your option you need to keep pressing down until you reach the right option so here recovery is the right option and instead of pressing the power button to, se uh, to hit select you have to press the volume up button to hit select so we just press the volume up button here it says warning bootloader unlocked I should mention at this point that if you're trying to install this ROM you do need your bootloader to be unlocked and I've actually done a video on how to unlock the bootloader on Motorola phones like the Moto G and uh, the Moto X uh, style or the Moto X Pure anyways now uh, and I've also in that video there's also um, there's also a tutorial on how to flash a custom recovery onto those phones so this is what that custom recovery looks like uh, to flash this ROM what you want to do is first wipe you don't need to go into advanced wipe and select anything just go straight from the menu to wipe and drag that across and wipe all the user data you have once that's done you want to go to install and there's basically three uh, three files or zip files that I would suggest uh, installing one of them would be lineage 14.1 or the whichever latest lineage there is that you can download from uh, the lineage OS download website I'll link that in the description below the next thing you want to download is open uh, G apps which allow you to log into Google applications like Gmail and basically install the Play Store framework uh, for your device without those you wouldn't get the Play Store you wouldn't get Gmail and you wouldn't get a lot of the basic applications so you do want uh, G apps the G apps you want for this device is because the processor for this is ARM uh, there's a bunch of different options there's ARM there's ARM 64 there's x86 so the one you want here is open G apps ARM not ARM 64 not x86 or no other kind of uh, processor value you want open G apps ARM uh, of course the Android version number is 7.1 so that's the one you're gonna pick and uh, you can choose which version of the G apps you want there's a bunch of different file uh, uh, there's a bunch of different options I tend to choose micro because it gets a lot of the uh, important apps in without any of the bloat Google apps but that's uh, completely dependent on you any one of them that you select will uh, give you access to the Play Store and then you can go ahead and download the rest of them and lastly Magisk uh, you can either install the beta version or uh, you can install the official version I tend to install the beta version on uh, most of my devices but that's just a preference thing so you also want to uh, download the zip for magisk and flash that so the order you want to do this in is you first want to flash lineage os 14.1 then you want to flash open g apps and lastly you want to flash magisk um, so that you root your device that's the order you want to do it in you can do it in the same uh, sort of uh, in the same sort of session of the custom recovery you don't need to reboot your device after installing each of them you just install lineage then go back install uh, G apps go back and install magic there's no need to reboot after each flash and once you're done with that uh, you should just go uh, go back and reboot your device into the system and you should be uh, greeted with the lineage OS boot animation that you will just see right now and after that because of the G apps uh, package you would have installed it will start setting up your phone via the Google frameworks so uh, guys I hope you liked the video and I hope you enjoyed it if you did uh, give the video a like and uh, consider subscribing thank you